All right, guys, it is that time. I have spoilers. Today, I have spoilers for episodes 123 to 125 of Dragon Ball Super and a special comment on 126 as well. Jesus, these spoilers are crazy. Jiren needs to chill out. I don't want to waste a lot of time. I want to jump into this right away. But as usual, as a courtesy, if you came across this video on accident and you do not want to be spoiled, go ahead and exit the video now. I will not take it personally. I have tons of other spoiler free content over on my channel like this one I uploaded a couple days ago. It talks about what Gohan's ultimate power, that power that he told Goku he will unlock, what that power likely is. Now to everyone else who is still here, Jiren is too much. I am going to unblur these spoilers in five seconds. Thank you to Ken Gyro over on Twitter for these translations. Be sure to follow this channel on social media, links are in the description. The title for episode 123 of Dragon Ball Super is Full Power of Mind and Body Unleashed, Goku and Vegeta. This airs on January 14th, 2018. The summary for this episode reads, only Universe 11 and Universe 7 led by Son Goku remain in the Tournament of Power with 7 minutes remaining. Vegeta uses all of his power to fight against Jiren of Universe 11, but Jiren doesn't lose even then. On the other hand, Vegeta is severely wounded and is now in trouble. Moving on, Episode 124, the title reads, Fierce Rush Attack. Gohan's Final Stand. This episode airs on January 21st, 2018. The summary reads, even though Goku and Vegeta team up to attack Jiren, they barely manage to land a hit on him. On the other hand, it looks like Jiren's power level increased even further. At that time, Gohan of Universe 7 goes in to help Frieza fight against Dispo of Universe 11. And lastly, we have the reveal of the title for episode 125 of Dragon Ball Super. That title is God of Destruction Topo Appears Pure Overwhelming Power. And that airs on January 28th, 2018. I also want to quickly mention that episode 126 of Dragon Ball Super is not yet titled. It says title not yet decided. We'll talk about what that can mean later on. But holy crap guys, these are some big spoilers. I saw right away from the preview of 122 that some people were worried that Jiren wasn't powerful enough, that Vegeta was doing too well against Jiren. I hope you are happy now. Jiren is no joke let's start with episode 123 the title has been changed slightly we got the title full power of body and mind unleashed before but now there's an addition of goku and vegeta on the end when you couple this complete title with the summary we now know that vegeta will be going up against jiren using his full power not necessarily the power we saw in the preview for 122 this can be a power even beyond that. Guys, I know what the debate about this title was the second it was released a couple weeks ago. And that was, are we talking about Vegeta getting Ultra Instinct? Are we talking about Gohan? Are we talking about Goku? Or are we talking about Jiren? And I think because of this new information, the only person we can take off of that list is Gohan. This full power of mind and body unleashed is not referring to Gohan. There was a strong possibility that after we saw that he would be fighting Topo in episode 122 of Dragon Ball Super, that maybe he could have gotten a power up. Maybe this could have been him, but it isn't Gohan. It can still be Jiren. And here's why. In the preview for 122 of Dragon Ball Super, we saw Vegeta for some reason beating the crap out of Jiren. And maybe that full power of body and mind is Jiren saying, forget this, here's my full power, let's go. It can also still be Vegeta. Here's why. After we see that power boost from Vegeta in that preview for 122, Jiren gets serious. He doesn't go to full power, but he gets serious. Maybe we see that red aura from Jiren again, and he beats Vegeta down. Vegeta counters by using all of his power, which is what this summary suggests. This is what the summary says almost exactly. And that usage of all of his power is the full power of body and mind that this title refers to. It can even be, it can even mean Vegeta unlocking Ultra Instinct. Don't jump down my throat here, Vegeta haters. But 
it can mean that as well. I know it says that Vegeta gets severely wounded, but in all fairness, so was Goku when he first unlocked Ultra Instinct. It wasn't enough to beat Jiren. Plus, it seems like this might be the first time we get to see Vegeta completely depleted of stamina, completely defeated, which is the same state Goku has to get in to unlock Ultra Instinct. It's the place he's been in every time he's done it so far. And of course, this title can still refer to Goku, and here's why. It could just mean that Goku gets back into Ultra Instinct after he sees Vegeta's full power attacks are not working. Let's move on to 124, final rush attack, Gohan's final stand. This title has me a little bit scared, guys. I think this might be it. I think this might be it for our boy Gohan, but let me not get ahead of myself here. The summary of this episode starts by saying Goku and Vegeta team up to attack Jiren. Now, considering that Vegeta was just severely wounded the episode before, it is likely that Vegeta may have completely depleted his energy against Jiren. And guys, in this tournament, can we think of other times where anyone has completely depleted their energy and is somehow miraculously able to stand up and fight again? I can think of one. It's Goku in Ultra Instinct. Whenever he runs out of energy, it seems like he is somehow fueled by Ultra Instinct. Is this Vegeta that's fighting with Goku right now? Is this Vegeta that was severely wounded in the episode prior? Is this Vegeta who is completely likely depleted of all stamina? Is he being fueled by Ultra Instinct to fight alongside Goku against Jiren right now? Are we seeing two Saiyans in Ultra Instinct versus this behemoth Jiren? But even if we are guys, this summary suggests that even that is not enough. It says that Jiren's power level increases even further. The thing that I do not really understand here is it says that at that time Gohan of Universe 7 goes in to help Frieza fight against Dispo of Universe 11. Why would Frieza need help with Dispo? We saw Dispo get defeated by Super Saiyan God Goku and hit earlier. Frieza is clearly, Golden Frieza is clearly around that level. I would expect him to be able to take care of Dispo by himself. The thing that has me worried here guys is it says Gohan's final stand. What does that mean? His final stand against whom? So it's Gohan and Frieza versus Dispo and Gohan needs to make a final stand? Also, I thought Gohan was fighting Topo in 122. What happened to that fight? Did Gohan just abandon that fight? So this all has me a little confused. If it makes sense to anyone else watching this, leave it in the comments and let me know. Help me out. Moving on, we get the reveal of the title of episode 125 and this raises a lot of questions. That title is God of Destruction Topo Appears Pure Overwhelming Power. Guys, let me say this. I have been kind of underwhelmed by Topo so far in this tournament. He's done nothing but play a guard dog for Jiren. Here is a guy who is a candidate for God of Destruction for Universe 11, which is apparently one of the strongest universes in this tournament. Their God of Destruction is apparently even stronger than Beerus. So we would expect Topo to be up there at around Beerus level. And he has not been performing at that level ever since his introduction. Maybe he has been severely, severely holding back. In fact, it's not maybe at this point. The title of episode 125 suggests that he has. We are finally going to get to see why Topo is a candidate for God of Destruction. Pure overwhelming power, that is not something to be taken lightly. Now, I said this raises question. My question is, who is he using this power against? Why does he feel the need to use this power? If Jiren is successfully pushing back both Goku and Vegeta, who is Topo fighting against? Is he fighting against Gohan? Also, there is absolutely no mention of Android 17. Is he fighting against Android 17? Guys, I know Android 17 is strong, but I don't think he's stronger than Gohan, and I don't think he is able to push Topo into using his full power. We can debate that, not really interested in doing that, but that's my opinion. If Topo is fighting against Gohan, then maybe that will explain the Gohan's final stand logic. Maybe, maybe Topo goes to God of Destruction level at the end of episode 124, and that's when Gohan makes his final stand. The final possibility I can think of is that Frieza and Gohan together managed to eliminate Dispo 
from the tournament and now we are down to only Jiren and Topo so it's Topo versus Android 17 Gohan and Frieza and if that's the case it does make sense to me that he would have to unleash his complete full power his god of destruction level power to fight all three of these opponents the final thing i want to talk about in this video is the fact that episode 126 is not yet titled i think it's because this episode isn't easy to title i think it's because there's so much happening right now we might be seeing ultra instinct vegeta we might be seeing a new form from gohan we're seeing topo's full power realized there's so much happening right now and there's so much that will happen in episode 126 that it's difficult to give that episode a name. There is also a possibility that they already have the title and they don't want to release it yet but I think that's unlikely because Toei releases provisional titles months in advance sometimes so I think they are having a hard time titling this episode. Anyway that's all I have for you guys. This is a lot. This is a big deal. A good way to end out 2017 with all these spoilers there are going to be more coming this isn't it guys and I guarantee it's gonna be here on this channel so make sure you are subscribed make sure you hit that bell button let's get some discussion going this is crazy let me know what you guys think about all this info leave some comments I hope you guys had a great Christmas I hope you're having some great holidays as usual my name is Dooley hashtag do crew thank you for checking out this video and I'll catch you in the next one bye